Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will discuss about what is an epsilon closure of a state and how can we compute the epsilon closure of any state. Now, the epsilon closure of any state Q0 is denoted as epsilon closure Q0. It will be represented like this epsilon closure of Q0. Now, it is the set that contains Q0 together with all states that can be reached starting at q0 by following only epsilon transitions is it clear please remember one thing whenever we are calculating epsilon closure of q0 q0 will be there because from q0 on epsilon you will go to q0 itself so that's what it contains q0 together with all the states reached starting at q0 by following only epsilon mu's meaning is that suppose let's take that you have Q0 on epsilon you are going to Q1 just for an example I am telling. Now epsilon closure of Q0, epsilon closure of Q0 will consist of Q0 together with all the states that can be reached starting at Q0 following by epsilon moves. So from Q0 on epsilon where you are reaching, you are reaching to Q1. So epsilon closure of Q0 will be Q0 comma Q1. Now epsilon closure of Q1 will be what? From Q1 you are going to Q1 but from Q1 on epsilon are you going to anywhere? You are not going anywhere. So epsilon closure of Q1 will be only Q1. Epsilon closure of Q0 will be Q0 comma Q1. Okay. So I hope you have understood this example. If it does not understand let me take another example also. Don't worry I will take another example if it does not understand how to compute the epsilon closure. Let me take another example. I am in Q0. On yes, I will be here. On epsilon, I will go to Q1. On the Bs, I will be here. Now, on epsilon, I will go to Q2. On C, this is my final state. Now, if you see that this is an epsilon NFA for a long ways of A power N, B power M, C power some K, Okay, n comma m comma k is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, if you see that a power n, b power m, c power k, n comma m comma k greater than or equal to 0. So, if it is only epsilon, then from initial state q0, on 1 epsilon you can come 2 epsilon. See, if it is 1 epsilon or 2 epsilon, it is epsilon only. So, you will reach to the final state. If you want to accept only yes, 2 yes you will watch 2 yes then 2 epsilon you will reach to the final state so only yes are accepting only b's will be accepted only c's also can be accepted and also it is accepting epsilon so this is an epsilon nfa for a power n b power m c power k where n comma m comma k greater than or equal to 0 so this is not my object my objective is how can i calculate the epsilon closure of each state epsilon closure of q0 i want to calculate from this example if you see if you want to calculate epsilon closure of q0 as you see that it consists of q0 so i will have q0 together with from q0 on epsilon what are the states you are reaching from q0 you on epsilon you are going to q1 on epsilon you are going to q2 so the epsilon closure of q0 is q0 q1 and q2 now epsilon closure of q1 let me write epsilon closure of q1 is epsilon closure of q1 is can you tell me what is the epsilon closure of q1 q1 is from the q1 you are start going to q1 from q1 on epsilon you are going to q2 so these are the two states will be there in the epsilon closure of q1 what is the epsilon closure of q2 q2 is only q2 because from q2 on epsilon you are not going anywhere if you are not visible let me write here epsilon closure of epsilon closure of q2 is only q2 because from q2 on epsilon you are not going anywhere epsilon closure of q1 is q1 comma q2 because from q1 you are can go to q1 on epsilon you can go to q2 also epsilon closure of q0 is q0 
from q0 on epsilon you can go to q1 from q1 i can go to q2 so meaning is that from q0 on epsilon i can go to q2 also so this is the way we will calculate the epsilon closure so i hope you have understood how what is the epsilon closure and how can i calculate the epsilon closure from an epsilon nfa thank you so much